In this tutorial, we'll take a brief look at the regression analysis tool in Excel 2016. So I'm going to use my sample file of movies. So in the column A, I have the movie names. I have uh, their gross ticket sales or gross revenue in B. Uh, their budget, it must be in millions of dollars. Their runtime, probably in minutes. And the number of stars that they were given on a rating system of some sort. And what regression allows us to do is it allows us to understand the relationships between one variable and a set of other variables. We sometimes call this the uh, dependent variable. So gross sales is dependent. How many tickets we sell is dependent on how much money was spent making the movie, how long the movie is, and how many stars it received, just as an example. So uh, regression analysis will let us take a whole series. We can even put maybe 10, 20 other things that we think drive ticket sales to see how that runs. So my focus today, though, is to show you how to run it and a couple key points of the output. So if you go into data, <clears throat> data analysis, within the data analysis tool pack is the regression tool. It's way down here at the bottom. When the regression opens, you need to carefully put these two pieces of information in. The Y range is what variable you are trying to understand or predict. So we'd like to know what drives gross sales. <clears throat> we're going to determine it based on the X range which is what we think affects gross sales so it's going to compare all three of these to gross sales so that's your Y range and your X range I'm going to turn the labels on it makes it much easier to interpret the data and then I'm going to leave all this the rest of this set to the default and it's going to create a new tab <clears throat> with our correlation I'm mean, sorry our regression results so let me just make this a little larger so we can look at it. I'm going to show you a couple key items I like to look at on the uh, analysis. So up top, <clears throat> you get basically three boxes. You get the regression statistics, the ANOVA, and then the coefficients. So let's start up here. One of the key items I look, like to look at is the R-square. R-square is a measure of how much of the change in ticket sales is driven by those three variables that we provided. And this is indicating that 12% of the variation in ticket sales. That is not very much. That means we need to probably look deeper at what is motivating ticket sales. But it's a key measure. The other thing I like to look at is the observations. There should have been eight movies in my analysis. I'm going to go over here and check. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, that is correct. Just a checkpoint. <clears throat> the significance F is somewhat important and the general target is you want a number that is smaller than 0 0.05 and we do not have that in this case so this is not a very strong regression the other item that is valuable to us is the coefficients <clears throat> the coefficients are um, the numbers that go into the equation of the line if you remember a linear equation of a line it just has two items it has the y-intercept which is right there and it has the slope of one variable that's what this is so the slope of budget is negative point three nine that means that we have a downward or negative relationship between budget and um, ticket sales runtime is positive longer movies sell more tickets and the, the weight of that is 0.55, or the slope, as we might say. Stars is the strongest of those with 3.23. The other item we like to look at is the p-value. This is a test of whether this coefficient, these slopes, are too close to zero. Because remember, a zero slope means that it has no effect. So if the p-value is smaller than 0.05, we normally would say that these coefficients are have an effect on ticket sales. If you notice in this case, these none of these are lower than 0 0.05. They're actually each quite a bit larger than 0 0.05. So we would say that in this case, this regression is not good. <clears throat> we did not have the significance F test that we wanted. We did not have uh, coefficients. And I think what, with what you and I know about movies, that's probably right. We'd say there's a lot of other things that drive whether people buy tickets at the movies and the ones we had were not very good. But at least it's an example to see how correlation is run and how to interpret those results.